Well, gel manicures changed the game for long lasting super shiny nails, but since the rise in its popularity, it's also endured its fair share of controversy. Now, researchers from UC San Diego published a study recently saying that UV lamp dryers at nail salons may increase the risk of developing skin cancer. And joining us tonight to explain is board certified dermatologist Dr. Tess Mauricio from M Beauty Clinic in Miramar. You also see her on SD, the Localist SD show. That's it's right. always a pleasure to have you here. Our first question really, what does this information? contained in the research really mean and what do we need to know about UV nail lights? Well, I think this is really an important study. You know, as dermatology, we always warn uh, people about UV ultraviolet radiation, right, for skin, uh, avoiding skin cancer and also um, skin aging. But this one actually is a study that looked at three different cell lines from humans and mice and then it showed that the exposure to the UV lamps actually caused cell death. DNA and mitochondrial damage and also mutations that had similar patterns to what we would see in human skin cancer. And so it's really something to think about. There wasn't anything that really was a direct cause and effect. So there's more studies that need to be done to really tie in and say, if you're you know, getting your gel um, nails, you're gonna get skin cancer. I mean, it's exposure. I mean, that's really what they're looking at or trying to make the link with. Is skin cancer around the nail area common? Oh, well, we definitely see it. And dermatologists are experts in skin, nails, and hair. And so we tell patients, you know, it's really good idea to have a, a manicure break um, so that you can see what your nail bed looks like. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are noticing some pigmentation or streaking, dark streaks in your nails or pigmentation or little growths around your nail bed, your cuticle, it's really something that you need to see your board certified dermatologist for. I mean, what, changes. Changes yeah. are always important when you see something like that. See a doctor. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And what, and what could this mean really for the nail industry now that this research has come out? Well, there's three million people who go see, you know, a nail, go in a nail salon every day. And gel is really massively popular. So I think it's just something to think about that, you know, maybe consider not going in as often and maybe just do the gel uh, on special occasions um, and also protect your skin uh, during you know gel if you're going to be exposed to the lamp and we recommend using um, broad spectrum sunscreen uh, that is also waterproof and also maybe actual gloves and cut the tips and then you know use that you know, it is important we talk about how we can protect ourselves best because I don't think like even with the study out, I don't think women will stop, <laughs> you know, so um, should we bring our, I guess, bring our own sunscreen in um, and like you said, uh, fingerless gloves? I think, you know, we need to think about it and not just about skin cancer, but also aging of the skin of your hands. And so it's not a bad idea, sort of like what we always recommend as dermatologists, apply it, make it a habit. If you're gonna go in there, you're gonna use the UV um, dryers, protect yourself. Let's talk about the weather right now, kind of switching gears if we can. We've seen so many overcast days. We know the sun is up there and we're still getting UV rays. How can people protect themselves during these times when you go outside, it's raining, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're not getting some UV rays. Absolutely, and so, you know, make it a habit. I tell people it's just like flossing or brushing your teeth. Just kind of make a habit of using sunscreen and not just on your face, your neck, but if you're gonna go in, think about your hands. Anything that's exposed really at that point, mm -hmm. even when it's cloudy outside. Yes, and even if you're gonna go in a cold place and you know, even flying in a plane and skiing, it's really important because um, ultraviolet radiation is still present. Yeah, wow. Dr. Tess Mauricio, thank you so much at Beauty Clinic. And of course, we can see you on the Localist SD uh, and your contributions there. We thank you for your information, thank your you. insight. Thank you.